Japanese snow monkeys have been observed in the wild for a period of over 30 years. In 1952, on the island of Kojima, Japan, Japanese scientists began providing monkeys with sweet potatoes that were thrown in the sand. The monkeys liked the taste of the raw sweet potatoes but found the dirt unpleasant. That's until an 18-month-old female named Hamu found that she could solve the problem by washing the potatoes in the salty ocean water, improving the taste of the potato. She taught this trick to her mother soon after her playmates learned this and shared it with their mothers too. This cultural innovation was gradually picked up by numerous monkeys in the troop and was observed by the scientists. Between 1952 and 1958, all the young monkeys learned to wash their sandy sweet potatoes and make them taste much better. Only the adults who did this, as their children did, learned this cultural improvement. Some older adults did not right away. In the autumn of 1958, something startling took place. A large number of snow monkeys were washing their sweet potatoes. The exact number was not known. The hypothetical number given was 99. And then it happened. The hundredth monkey learned to wash their sweet potato. This added energy of the hundredth monkey somehow created a conscious breakthrough. Almost everyone in the troop was washing their potatoes before eating them. What's surprising, an occurrence happened that was observed by the scientists. The habit of washing sweet potatoes had jumped overseas. Colonies of monkeys on other islands and the main island troop began washing their potatoes. Throughout the exact number may vary. However, this hundredth monkey phenomenon means that only when a limited number of individuals knows a new way, it remains the conscious property of those individuals. However, when one or more individuals manifest this new awareness, the field is strengthened and a critical mass is reached, and the awareness becomes the conscious property of all. Becoming available within the collective consciousness for those who desire to adopt the idea. This can be also noted as morphic resonance. Conscious awareness is the conscious aspect of the mind involving our relationship with the world and self and our relationship to it. When we shift our awareness of frequency from self-consciousness, where fear, impossibility, or feelings of separation reside, and into one of a cosmic consciousness, which is the total harmony and oneness with the universe, feelings of fear, separation, begin to dissipate. With conscious intention, send yourself the frequencies of Inlakesh and Veritas, which is oneness and truth, to strengthen your connection to earth and all forms of consciousness, to illuminate the new beginning of earth's spiritual evolution, which is already underway. We all can send a great cosmic conscious message to all earthlings just by repeating the following to yourself daily. I call for the frequency of truth. I call to see the truth. I call to hear the truth. And I call to speak the truth. When this is said with willingness and desire, the field is strengthened, opening the potential for critical mass to be reached within the collective human consciousness. This new awareness is communicated from mind to mind. There is no separation. All becomes available for those who desire to call it forth. Be a part of the movement for oneness and truth. In Lakesh and Veritas.